powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 10 o'clock news on Q2, Montana's news leader. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm David J. in for Zoe Zandora. There's no deal in sight. The government will likely remain partially closed until after Christmas. President Trump tweeted, we fight for the borders of other countries, but we won't fight for the borders of our own. Ed O'Keefe reports from Capitol Hill. Senate stands adjourned until 11 a.m. on Monday. The Senate adjourned for the Christmas holiday without reaching a deal to end the partial government shutdown. Roughly 25% of the government shut down because of one person and one person alone, President Trump. President Trump is refusing to sign any spending bill that does not include $5 billion in funding for a border wall. The president tweeted, the crisis of illegal activity at our southern border is real and will not stop until we build a great steel barrier or wall. Let work begin. Without a deal, nine federal agencies, including Homeland Security, State and the Justice Department, are now closed. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he will not hold any more votes until a bipartisan agreement is reached. We push the pause button until the president, from whom we will need a signature, and Senate Democrats, from whom we will need votes, reach an agreement. No procedural votes, no test votes. Vice President Pence was on Capitol Hill Saturday trying to make a deal with Senate Democrats, but little progress was made. President Trump is demanding billions of dollars for an expensive, ineffective wall that the majority of Americans don't support. Hundreds of thousands of federal workers caught in the middle will have to work without pay until both sides reach a compromise that could take days or weeks. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Washington. And as mentioned, the Senate uh, did adjourn and lawmakers aren't scheduled to meet again until next Thursday. Meanwhile, the National Park Service has implemented a plan uh, for Yellowstone during the government shutdown. Yellowstone National Park will remain open, but government-run operations and facilities will be closed. No one will work at the entrance stations. The road from the park's north entrance at Gardner through Mammoth Hot Springs to the northeast entrance at Cook City is open to wheeled vehicle traffic. The park website and social media sites will not be maintained, and all administrative offices will be closed until the government reopens. Glacier National Park will be open and closed during the partial federal government shutdown. Park spokeswoman Lauren Alley says that roads and trails in Glacier will remain accessible, but emergency and rescue services will be limited. There will be no uh, public information, restrooms, trash uh, pickup, and uh, facilities and roads of maintenance. Vault toilets may still be available, but will not be maintained. And plowing will be limited to areas that serve residential uh, areas, and social media and websites are also not being monitored or updated. Meanwhile, in Billings, a car crashed into an apartment building at about 1.30 this afternoon. It happened on the corner of 6th Avenue North and North 23rd Street. The vehicle crashed into the side of the B&B &B apartment building at 524 North 24th Street. An ambulance took one person to the hospital with unknown in injuries and uh, minimal damage was done to the outside of the apartment building. With Christmas coming up, millions of Americans are traveling across the country this weekend to spend time with family and friends. More than 112 million people will be traveling this holiday season, which is 4% higher than in 2017. 7 million people will be traveling by air. And experts advise allowing plenty of time to get through airport security. Christmas music uh, helps uh, to bring some cheer and memories this afternoon at retirement homes. Some of the Billings Symphony, along with students, played at three senior homes. The symphony has 15 education programs and regularly visits places such as Canyon Creek Memory Care Community. Music is one of the things that people, residents here in particular, hold on to longer than anything. They remember music. Residents love to watch the children play the violin. The mission of the Billings Symphony is to enrich lives through music, and that's exactly what we're hoping to accomplish today, is enrich their lives even just a little bit for a small amount of time. If we can make them smile over in that other room, we've done our mission. And the group also played at Mission Ridge and Morning Star. Christmas shopping and sharing musical talents also happened at the Hanson Music Christmas Open House. 
A bluegrass band played for some of the music jam at Hanson Music. Others contributed with 60s and 70s rock and roll and other types of music. Hanson Music asked customers to bring their instruments and play. I hope we we get as much foot traffic as we can and just, you know, get as much uh, recognition for the people playing today as, as we hope hope we can. It's m mainly just to get, you know, last minute shopping done and build community together, you know, just cherish that. Handsome Music stayed open a little longer today for that open house. And over in western Montana, the Harley uh, Owners uh, Group, uh, Big Sky Chapter, spread holiday cheer to Great Falls families in the form of a holiday meal. Today, more than 50 bikers from 13 area motorcycle clubs packed holiday food boxes for 25 Great Falls families. Along with the food, uh, the Hogs also brought gifts for children, and after boxing up the food and gifts, members moved out on bikes and in cars to deliver the items. Big Sky Hog Activities Coordinator Pam Howard says that feeding families, especially families with children, is critical. We need to make sure that our kids in Great Falls are eating one way or another if it's donating to the school's food, food pantries. Um, if you go to a, a restaurant and you want to buy a, a $5 gift card at McDonald's, you can drop it off at one of the schools. There's so many things you could do. Just be aware of it. It's an all-year problem. And the Hogs deliveries took care of about uh, 150 people. Connor Pregatzer is uh, here now with uh, weather and a uh, pretty good day for riding. Uh, we're hoping for a little different uh, down the line. Though, yes, we? yeah, we talk about snow, we talk about a white Christmas, obviously lots of stuff going on to get us in that Christmas spirit. The weather, though, not really playing its part out there. As we take a look at some of the stats surrounding a white Christmas in Billings, records have been kept here since 1934. We define a white Christmas as a half inch of snow on the ground as of 5 o'clock in the morning on December 25th. Since records began, 50% chance, one of the chances of that, of a white Christmas here in Billings. But we have had nine of the last ten and six in a row. It certainly looks like that streak will be broken, but we do know there is the potential for some snowy days on Christmas. Here are the seven snowiest I believe I've got here. Snowiest back in 1965. Four and a half inches falling on the 25th all the way down to 2014 at 1.2 inches. So certainly the potential for some snow. We know our weather here can change um, uh, at the tip of a hat. I don't have too much of a chance in there in the forecast, but there is some stuff bubbling out there. I'll tell you all about it coming up in just a little bit.